There are some other questions here. Let me, I can read them to okay. you if you'd like. Okay. Uh, the first one is, what is the main difference between SRM and, and service broker? So with SRM, if you want to go to other non-remedy systems or to custom remedy apps, um, there's a CAI utility, and don't ask me what a command automation something interface, I think. There are ways to use CAI to build the workflow to push to other systems, right? There are ways to do that in SRM. Um, or you could use Atrium Orchestrator or something like that. So you, SRM creates a ticket and remedy, and then it goes ahead and you build the workflow or use Atrium Orchestrator and push it away. There are, so there are definitely ways to connect with other systems there, but it's a lot more manual. The um, idea here is let's make it very streamlined. Let's make it easy to do. Let's not have to have different workflow for everything we're doing in the back end because the connectors are all in, in Service Broker Edition. I'm not having to build a lot of custom remedy workflow to push data out or hook it into Atrium Orchestrator, et cetera. Are there ways to do this just using SRM? Sure. Service Broker makes it a lot easier. Great question, and, though. And then I, I guess that this was backward compatible to version 8. In, is that right? Or would you have to have version 9 in Remedy? I'll have you know? to check on that. Okay. Um, um, the backwards comp so my IT itself is backwards compatible to 7604. Um, service broker is kind of really its own entity, but I'll have yeah. to check on the AR system compatibility. I don't know what we require. Okay. And here's another question. It says, what connectors are available? Are they two-way? And I, I guess the sort of a follow-on to that would be, where do you go to find out what connectors are available? <laughs> well, that last was a great question. So when, when um, SBE first came out, we had connectors for Remedy, we had connectors for Box, and connectors for Fixera. I know BMC internally held this, this kind of competition day where the developers were developing a bunch more connectors. Most of them ended up being to Active Directory or LDAP. I don't remember what the other ones were. And the idea was to publish them out someplace, and I don't know where that someplace is. So great question. Dick, we should definitely look into that because we don't okay. want to reinvent vent the wheel. In terms of two-way communication, absolutely you can't have it be two-way. It just depends how it's set up. Okay. Um, and, and then you you gave us a, a, a very nice overview of what it takes really to sort of roll this thing out to to build this whole thing. Is there any rule of thumb in, in terms of level of effort? It, it certainly seems like this is not an, a major undertaking that you could get this knocked out in, in a month or two. It, it depends, certainly depends on what you're trying to do, right? Right. It depends on your connectors. And I've been trying to get mm -hmm. a good answer for what average time is to build a connector for somebody with, you know, average skills, not horrible, not great. And I have not gotten that answer yet, but it's really around your connectors and how long it takes to build those. The rest of it, you know, it's, it's slam dunk. So yeah. we'll try, we've been trying to get that answer. Um, right is obviously getting, getting experience with that right now. So we might be able to actually get you, um, get it from our operations team as well. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Let me see. I think there might be one other uh, question that just came in here. Um, it says here, the service request designer interface that you showed us for benefits, was that part of the service broker exclusively? You understand yes. what they're asking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when I went back there and I was adding those questions, mm -hmm. yes, this is strictly applying to, um, so I'm going to work for that right now. This is strictly applying to service broker edition. Now, well, I was going to get, having said that, I was looking at some of the new Remedy 9.5, and there's Remedy 9.5 beta going on right now, and some of the new stuff is kind of looking like the service broker workflow portion, but the service request definition piece that we're looking here, this is definitely service broker only. 